guys, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Samira Danae. <laughs> so I know, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Samira Danae, and I'm back with another freaking video or whatever. So as you guys can see, today is going to be a cooking video. So we're going to be making salmon alfredo but instead of using regular pasta i have this spaghetti squash right here and i'm going to try i never had squash before so hopefully it comes out good but anyway i have all of my ingredients right here i have my salmon right here it's already seasoned i have some cheeses for my alfredo sauce because i'm making it from scratch no canned sauce i have my seasonings i got some salt parsley red crushed pepper flakes black pepper obey and i have some evaporated milk and of course i have some butter so we're about to get started the first thing i want to do is i want to cook the salmon the spaghetti squash is already cooked um i just have to let it cool a little bit and i'm going to cut it i had to poke holes in it and put it in the oven for an hour on um 375 degrees and then after 30 minutes i flip the squash over and let it cook for the, the remaining 30 minutes so i'm just letting that cool so we're about to get started with the salmon first um and then we're going to get into the alfredo sauce and all that good stuff or whatever so yeah let's get into it like i said the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to cook the salmon i already seasoned it with some obey onion powder and black pepper and i have some oil right here in this pan i'm going to let this heat up and then we're going to begin to pan sear the salmon so the past couple of times I've been pan searing my salmon, I kind of, I actually like it better than putting it in the oven. So this is like my new thing to do with the pan sear salmon because it comes out so good. So that's what I'm doing right now. This thing is popping too much. I'm scared that I'm gonna get popped. But anyway, y'all, I'm about to put the salmon into the pan. And I'm gonna let it pan sear on both sides for a couple of minutes. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna do the salmon. And then I'm gonna make the Alfredo sauce. I'm gonna do that next after the salmon is done. I am missing a few ingredients. I don't have any minced garlic. I need to go to the grocery store and get some more stuff, but I didn't have a chance to go to the grocery store, so I'm missing some garlic. So hopefully it doesn't like throw the meal off. But I think it should taste still taste pretty good even without the minced garlic. So I'll be back once the salmon is finished and I'll show you what the final product of the salmon looks like and then we're going to get into the sauce. Guys, right, so we're moving on to the sauce. The salmon is done. I set that aside. I'm going to be using this freaking huge pot because the pot that I wanted to use is in a dishwasher and your girl don't feel like washing dishes is going to get washed when that dishwasher goes on. So we're using this big old pot and I am going to take my butter first because butter make it taste better, butter make it taste better, butter make it taste better. <laughs> Shout out to Deira and Kim. They know what it is. So I'm going to take some butter, about two tablespoons of butter, and I'm going to melt it. Guys, be sure when y'all are cooking, make sure y'all are using the right utensils. You want to use something like this or a wooden type of spoon just so you won't scratch up your pot. So that's a little tip you know, for y'all. And BTW, I have pots, like good pots that I only wash by hand. I have pots that I don't really care about. Those are the ones I put in a dishwasher. So this is one of my good pots and I don't want it to get scraped up and yeah, so. And I forgot to tell you guys that I also uh just steamed some broccoli in the microwave. I'm gonna be adding broccoli to the uh, Alfredo as well. So it's gonna be salmon and broccoli Alfredo or whatever. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of onion powder. Like I said, I don't have any fresh minced garlic, so. And I don't have any freaking garlic powder, so I'm just gonna use onion powder. So hopefully it, hopefully it, uh, you know, do some justice. If y'all hear that noise, that's my central air, so don't mind it, y'all. So get this nice and melty in the pot. Next, I'm gonna be taking my canned evaporated milk. I'm not sure how much is in here, but I'm gonna use this whole can because I like my pasta to be saucy. I hate dry pasta, so. 
and yeah i don't really do any measurements your girl is a pro so you know i just eyeball it and i can tell like one is enough so i'm just going to pour this entire thing in here so i'm going to bring this to a boil before i start to add my cheeses and i'm going to take some red crushed pepper flakes i'm going to dab a few in here take some parsley for color Take some Old Bay, black pepper, and some regular salt for taste. And I'm gonna mix this up and let this all come to a boil. So as y'all can see, the milk and the butter has come to a boil. So now I'm gonna begin to add my cheeses to get those all melty. So I have this four blend cheese. It has smoked provolone, Parmesan, and Romano cheese. Just gonna add, again, I'm not measuring. I'm just gonna see when I think enough, enough is enough. going to stir that up also going to add some of this Kobe Jack cheese too but actually yeah Kobe Jack cheese so it's going to put a little pinch of this in here so stir that up look how cheesy y'all So the sauce is basically done. So guys, I added the broccoli to the Alfredo sauce. So now we're gonna move on to the spaghetti squash. So I watched the video on how to cut a freaking squash because I didn't know how to cut a squash. And the guy in the video said normally people cut it, cut it like this way and basically like use it as like a bowl and basically take like a fork and just, um, you know, scoop all the stuff out. But he said to get more spaghetti like noodles like longer noodles to cut it this way I mean cut it this way instead so I'm going to do as he said in the video I don't want to cut it this way Ooh. oh hmm it looks like spaghetti look at this y'all Wow. Oh, as you can see, I decided to start using my fingers. My hands are clean. I washed my hands before I started cooking and I wash my hands while I'm cooking, so don't come for me. So this is the sauce with the broccoli in it. And I'm literally just going to take the spaghetti squash and put it inside of the pot. So I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes just so the spaghetti squash can absorb the sauce. Hey guys, so we're about to plate our spaghetti squash alfredo. So, I'm gonna take the noodles. Make sure I get some noodles and some broccoli. Mmm, look at this y'all. Then I'm gonna get a piece of my salmon. Don't judge my salmon, y'all. The pieces were breaking up as I was freaking cooking it. Get my piece of salmon. Oh! <laughs> it just broke even more. But I'm gonna place that nicely on top of the Alfredo. Make it look all good. Wanna take some parsley, sprinkle that on top. And some 
grated Parmesan and Romano cheese. And there we have it. Salmon and broccoli Alfredo with spaghetti squash. So this is the moment of truth, guys. Drum roll, please. <laughs> I'm about to taste it. The squash doesn't really have a taste. It definitely has like a crunchier texture than like regular pasta would. I don't know, maybe I need to cook the spaghetti squash for a little bit longer so it can be kind of soft, softer, so it can really taste like pasta. I don't know, but it's definitely good. I like it on a scale of one to 10, I would give it about a seven. It's definitely um, an option for people who wanna eat healthier, they don't wanna eat pasta, Spaghetti squash is definitely the way. The Alfredo sauce, A1. So your girl's about to pour some more wine and finish eating my food. So I'm gonna wrap this video up, guys. Be sure to like, give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to comment. Let me know if you guys ever had spaghetti squash before. Comment any recipes I should try. Literally comment anything. And also, subscribe. Make sure you join the gang or whatever. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. I appreciate everyone who watches my videos, subscribe to my channel, and all of that stuff. So, yeah. Like I always say, I'll see you guys in the next video.